Olivia is a French visual artist who's worked uh, all across Europe and all around the world doing these large scale structures out of cardboard that are city oriented and uh, a huge manifestation of a community build around architecture. And he's done that kind of work all over Europe, uh, world famous for this type of uh, initiative, but really it's not just the object we need to focus on. Olivia's project is about the making, the process of inclusion, the process of community building. How do you involve many people? How do you bring all age groups together to put these structures into place? So in that sense, Olivia's work is very much about the contribution that we all make to the city. So on the one hand, there's the material side of Olivia's work, which is the ephemeral, the cardboard, the, the transitory nature of building in those types of materials. But also working at this sort of a, in this event-based sort of way, there's a way of prototyping the city itself, of seeing what structures work, what the community expects out of the city that it lives in, and how it can engage with the process of building the city and imagining the future for the city. So what architecture tends not to do a lot is to share the idea of imagination for the city to come. Olivia's work opens a door to that. Olivia's work in Sydney is operating in two places. It's operating at Darling Harbour, where the first prototype uh, building will take place. After Darling Harbour, we move to the cutaway at Barangaroo. The fun part is both the big barn raising when all those modules come together, the other fun part of that is actually there's a demolition day at the very end of the project and that happens on Australia Day in January and that's the moment when all of these structures, all of the cardboard, all of the, the fun that has gone into the making is, becomes the fun which goes into the demolition of the project. Of course that's where the kids really get into it. <laughs>